again and welcome to another episode of Jackson the Space Dog. Living in space, I have to look out for certain space dangers, like black holes. Actually, Jackson. Who's that? I'm the announcer. We've never had an announcer before. Well, you do now. Whoa. Anyway, no one can really see a black hole. Really? We can only see how things around it are affected by it. Oh, and Jackson? Yeah? You don't have to keep looking up. Just look at the camera. Oh. And a black hole isn't really a hole. It's not? A black hole is formed when the center of a large star falls in on itself. This causes a supernova which projects part of the star into space and the rest of it to collapse in on itself, creating a small object with the same amount of mass. So while the object is very small, it still attracts other objects as strong as the original star did. So theoretically, if there were planets orbiting around the star before it turned into a black hole, they could still orbit around the new black hole if they survived. So, what if Carl here fell into a black hole? <coughs> well, he wouldn't just fall in, because it's not a hole, like I said earlier. Well, that's good! Actually, he would get stretched out as parts of him that were closer to the black hole would move faster than the parts of him that were further away. Never mind, that's not good. And then Carl would be squashed down to the size of a pea. And then what happens? What do you mean? What happens after he gets squished? Well, some people theorize that after a black hole reaches critical mass, it ejects all of its contents back out into space. Then what? But really? Yeah, what happens then? I suppose the whole process starts all over again with another star, I don't know. Then what happens? I don't know, kid. Look, I'm just the announcer. I'm, I'm gonna go. Who, hey, who do I talk to about? Hey, hey, where are you going to? I'll be around.